Hello. Um, I'm probably going to get interrupted by my husband. Oh, look at my shirt. Them spots on there. My goodness. It's a work shirt, people. I don't care. So, judge if you want to. It's making me money. Well, anyways. Um, just wanted to come on here and let say that uh, I just finished bleeding uh, two or three days ago. Um from my miscarriage so and I could kind of tell from whenever the miscarriage stopped and I started bleeding from my cycle because with my miscarriage it might be TMI but I was blood clotting so bad okay now the last numbers that I had read was at the ER and they were a nine so I hadn't went back because I had bled like a lot after that so I feel as though my boobies they stopped hurting all together everything is a uh, it's fine so it's just I think I'm ovulating super early is anybody else having that happen to them like I think I'm ovulating now and I just started stop bleeding like three or four days ago so we've been not um, we're not gonna do anything this month uh, I want to wait and, and see and get this this miscarriage on my system like a lot of people be like no if you miscarry then you get pregnant easier yes that keeps happening to me but my babies are not sticking and I had set up an appointment to get my um, progesterone read right after I got my positive I got my positive in July and these doctors don't really know nothing because in it was like July 7th when I had my period by like July 15th or 16th, I was getting positive pregnancy tests. So I called my doctor instantly and I'm like, look, this is the earliest I've ever got pregnancy tests. They're darker, so I, and I, they're, they were dark in, in the beginning. So I told him, I was like, I need to get my progesterone checked because I'm high risk. And I've already had so many missed losses already, you know, and my doctors, the nurse still put my appointment off till the end of August, so. I talked to Miss Tally, which is, um, she replaced Miss Margie up there at uh, Dr. Maurice's office uh, in Houma, Louisiana. And she had told me that I don't need the HSG, I think that's what it's called, where they run through your, your dye, through your tubes. She said, because I'm getting pregnant, she said, so therefore it's meeting up and I'm, I'm getting pregnant. So it's not no blockage in my tubes. So... My next thing is, as soon as I get a positive, she wants me, she's going to send blood work to make them, sh I'm going to go to a clinic and get them to check my uh, progesterone. And ladies, I think that's like $80. And that's like no insurance, you know. That's just how much it costs, down here in Louisiana anyways. So, um, I'm just going to instantly get that done. But I will be updating y'all. I just wanted to come on here and just kind of rant a little bit, I guess, because... I feel as though that doctor's office should have told me, well, go ahead and go get your um, progesterone checked because it might have saved the pregnancy. I mean, I'm being optimistic. Hey, a lot of uh, women who start the progesterone actually do be able to save their um, pregnancies. I look rough, y'all. I've been, since my dog got killed, I think I told y'all my dog got killed on the 11th or something. I'm not sure. And we had him eight years. And then I guess all that stress from that happening, and I started bleeding. And that's whenever I went to the ER that night and they said I was miscarrying. So I just, I've been trying to find me a Staffordshire Terrier puppy in the United States. And I have, I have other dogs. I have all females though, you know, and I can't breed none of my females, you know, cause they're not, they're like Staffordshire and Pitbull mix. And I'm not trying to have no mixed puppies. I want full-blooded Staffordshire. So I guess that's that might be crazy. But And my old man, he gave me lots of puppies. And I just miss him so much. I'm not going to lie. And it's just been really hard. But, um... I know God has his, his um, plans for us. And y'all might be like, oh my God, she's going to cry over a dog. But, you know, once you have your dog so long and they're in the house, they're like your babies. There's nothing, there's nothing.
nothing else I can say. My, my dogs are my babies. I've got birds, I've got squirrels, I've got horses, I've got cats, I've got dogs. I love all my animals. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just so sick about this because, anyways. But um, back to the pregnancy thing. So I'm not gonna be trying this month. So I will be updating y'all in about three weeks or so, maybe a month, whenever I start my cycle for next month. Now, if something, a miracle happens and I'm getting positive, I'm going to come back on here and let y'all know. Now, I need a couple opinions. My chains are real gold. They're kind of expensive if you go to buy them. Well, I bought my son this chain. And he already broke it once, so I had to take it to Snacks and get it fixed. Snacks is in Alexandria, Louisiana. It's an expensive jewelry store, but very nice. But I need opinions on whether I should give this back to my 15-year-old, okay? He loves this necklace, but his Sunday school teacher went to touch him, I guess, and her nail caught it. And it broke off on him in church so i had to get it fixed for him but i need to know if i should give it back to him or i shouldn't he's got one on he's had it for two years now but it's it's not see this is a hollow chain so it's very fragile so so it's a starter for him the other one was a starter also and i've been surprised with how well he's done this one's been in the shop now i forgot about it so it's been in there about three months. But um, I just want some advice on whether I should give my 15-year-old his chain back, which was his legitimately. And he didn't really break it. The school teacher did. And he keeps all this stuff, y'all. I mean, I don't know if y'all have boys that are teenagers that like, like his tennis shoes. My son, all week, has been wearing a different pair of shoes to school every day. And... I only bought him one pair this year for school but all of his other pairs he's pulling out I remember buying them but they still look brand new and we're country we have mud and and I try to pour gravel in my driveway but the mud sucked up my rocks so uh, we're country I don't understand these kids this kid got white shoes and they're they're white white they look new as if I didn't buy them last year like every six weeks or so that might be spoiled but i'll get him a new pair of shoes he was on a vans kick and y'all vans are 60 dollars, so bam baby if you want to buy them shoot go ahead okay and since fortnite's not getting all of our money no more i feel like hey you're not getting fortnite i'll, I'll buy you shoes you know and my husband's been trying to get him to go roofing with him during the summer but he would stay up on that game all night long and sleep all day so whenever i would try to go wake him up to come to come to work to make him some money he mom i want to come i promise i want to come i'm just so tired i heard that all summer y'all i don't know if y'all are in the same boat because i know a lot of women who are trying to conceive have have older teenagers as kids you know because we had our reversals after we had our babies which are now teenagers so and my daughter she's just like I need advice with her too. She wants to do her hair. She's not really, she got her felines this year. She's all into doing her hair, looking pretty. And she's only about to be 14. So, I don't know what this society has brought to our kids, but she's always doing this. I don't know if y'all's kids do all that. Lord. <laughs> These kids, they do it so much. They got Gabe talking about some, Nanny, take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. Every time I turn around, he wants me to take another picture of him. I know that's way off subject, guys. But I've just been, this tubal reversal journey just got me so stressed out. I mean, I know there's lots of other women that's had miscarriages. But I know, and I'm fortunate. I mean, I guess I'm. I never heard the heartbeats of none of mine and I think that would just tear me apart so y'all who've had heartbeats and had actually carried your babies God be with y'all because that just would 
I know it broke y'all's heart. I know wanting something so bad then it's there than just to be gone. But ladies, make sure you tell your doctors, check your progesterone because that is a major thing with miscarriages. Well, I'm going to get off here and I just want to leave y'all with the knowledge of knowing that you already know God knows everything for without him we wouldn't be here we wouldn't have our miracles that we already have so we need to be blessed for what we do have even though we're going to keep trying just don't never give up and just always remember to stay thankful in the Lord for what you do have ladies we had two bullet reversals so many women want it but can't afford it I mean we're so blessed and that's the truth I know I've had so many losses and this is just so heartbreaking for me this up and down roller coaster but I do know one thing when, when we're supposed to get our, our miracle babies it's gonna happen so thank y'all who watch my show and I truly appreciate everybody's comments their prayers I just thank y'all so much everybody and baby dust.